All right, and we're live. So tonight I am bringing you Bug Vile, or Vile Bug, I forget which one I actually called it. <clears throat> what we have here is a bug bu creature deck that runs off Aether Vile to help with your mana and whatnot. So you get an early Aether Vile out, you can start cheating on your Baleful Strixes, your Grim Flayers, your Charmoglyphs, your Leovolds, your Edrix. The million clicks and Notion Thief as well as Snapcaster Mage, so it allows Snapcaster Mage to be a little more mana efficient with, uh, combined with Vile, so you can easily just use Vile to get Snapcaster Mage in play, Flashback of Thoughtseize, a Hymn to Torok, some of your higher, some of your two mana spells and whatnot. It makes it a lot easier to double spell on a turn. Um, runs four Wastelands, so the Vile's also help with that since the mana base is a little greedy. It runs four Wastelands, so if you're getting Wastelanded and you're, you're Wastelanding your opponent, um, the Vile's can help maintain your board state and keep things slowing. Um, for removal I've got two Fatal Push, three Abrupt Decay. You can just include four Baleful Strix as removal since they can block and trade with pretty much anything. Um, two Lena Last Hope can help as removal. Lena Last Hope can also help rebuy creatures that have died or have been countered or been discarded. Um, you got three Thought Seeds for discard as well as three Hymn to Torok in the main. Um, some cards to break up combo are like Vendillion Click, Him to Torok, Thoughtseize. Um, there's a Umazawa's Jit in the main as well as one on the side for creature matchups. I have a Sylvan Library in the main as well as one on the side for um, control matchups. There's one Life Realm in the main. Though I originally had four Force Wills in the main. Um, I put those on the sideboard and put the three Thoughtseize on the sideboard into the main board as well as a Singleton Life Realm. Um, Life Realm with Wasteland and Vile, which is really efficient at being able to make sure that you can. Um, be able to make sure you can still, you know, use Vile to get creatures in play, life alone to get your lands back, you can keep wastelanding an opponent with a greedy mana base. Oh, thanks. How's it going, Connor? Yeah, it's, it should be a pretty sweet list. If you want to look at the exact deck list, just type exclamation point deck or exclamation point deck list, and it'll pop up a link to the deck list. And that would have been a really empty thing to say if it wasn't for the word deck list there. Um, so for your beaters, you got four timer goy. If you got three grim flare, which are great, like with baleful strix early, you like just trade off a baleful strix, and then you're like with between land and sorcery or instant, like you're already at four cards. So grim flare pretty much is always a four four with trample that can you know clean up the top deck. Um, but a couple leovolds with vile, you can sneak a leovold in under a brainstorm or a sponsor of jace. You can also do the same with notion thief without having to worry about counter magic. I have one edric spy master of trust as a way to get some uh, additional card advantage. So, like, Baleful Strix generally can get free attacks and no problem. So, Spy Master allows us to get card advantage um, past the original Baleful Strix just drawing you a card. <coughs> That's kind of like a cute ad. I don't know if it's particularly good, but eh, it should be fine. Um, so, that's the main board. Pretty much bug mana base. We're a little black heavy, so there's two bayous, three underground seas, three traps, one swamp, one island, um, no forest. Uh, basic Forest might be a good inclusion, but I haven't seen that much Moon Stompy, so I'm not too concerned at the moment with that. Uh, so 3 2 and a Legacy 1k today? That's not as good as you usually do, Connor. I'm very ashamed of you. You're playing like me, I guess. <laughs> um, sideboard, we got for some combo hate, we got a couple of Flust Storms, a couple of Circular Attractions, a couple of Mind Break Traps, a, bunch of, a full set of Force Wills. So we become a lot more blue heavy post boards, so we bring in our Force Wills as well as other blue cards. For control matchups, we bring in a couple Bitter Blossoms at Sylvan Library. <sighs> this isn't particularly loose testing for a trophy, but I think Assassin's Trophy would be a very good card in here. Um, I had a pretty close game against uh, Depths the other day, and uh, Assassin's Trophy would have made a huge difference for sure. Um, for creature matchups, we also have a second JIT. We have a Tox Deluge. So this is pretty much where it is. Um, not going to go too much more into details. This will be uploaded to YouTube. Um, and then if you're tuning in, we'll talk about the deck throughout the night. If anyone has any questions or has any inquiries about card choices or whatnot, let me know. I'll happily answer questions. It's possible we want some number of, like, I was going to say Chains of Mephistopheles, but it doesn't really synergize very well with Leobold and Ocean Thief. <sighs> but there could even be, like, Standstill could be a consideration for this deck, um, just because we do have vials where we can cheat the creatures in the play. Um, if we can cheat a Notion Thief into play with a Standstill in play, we can crack our own Standstill and get the value no matter what. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty sweet. Originally, this deck had two Jace and four Force Will in the main deck. The Jace were replaced by Lily on the Lasso. The four Force went to the sideboard. The three Thought Season, one Life from the sideboard came to the main board. 
I think Lillian Last Hope's gonna be a lot better for this deck. I did have some tr I struggled a little bit against Crix's control in testing, because Baleful Strix is just a really good chump blocker. Um, so having Lillian Last Hope will hopefully solve that problem of having to worry about fighting through Baleful Strixes when I don't want to particularly lose my creatures. Um, if I do lose my creatures to Baleful Strix and whatnot, Lillian Last Hope can also rebuy them, so we have some redundancy that way. If I was to add Sashin's trophies to this deck, I'd probably cut a land or two, probably like a wasteland or two, and then add a couple of Assassin trophies, maybe trim like a Grim Flare or Edric. Edric's probably just too cute. Um, so yeah. And our Leovolds and our Notion Thief can pair with our Vendillion Clicks. If I had a way to rebuy our Vendillion Click, that'd be awesome, but I don't think I can show any way to rebuy that. It would require something like a... Um, the arcane laboratory or whatever that returns a wizard to your hand. So like that could be a consideration, but I think that's a little too cute. It's a little bit going on like the Grixis Fairies type of deal, and we're just not really, we're not really that kind of deck. It's good to have a fairy sub theme though. It's like spell starter spice with like vials and stuff could be pretty sweet. <sighs> Hope everyone's doing well tonight. Hopefully this league goes a little better. I will not be drinking throughout this league, so let's see if the play is a little tighter tonight. I'm trying to feature this deck for a friend of mine, so. So we're pretty slow on finding our league opponent at the moment. Like I said, if there's any questions throughout the stream, please feel free to ask. Any considerations that anyone thinks I overlooked, or things that shouldn't be in here or should be in here? I'm all, definitely all ears, and I'm happy to, you know, do that. I'm happy to consider anything that other people have in mind. Drunk leads are great, though. Drunk leagues are great. That doesn't help when your habit is to burn tickets. <laughs> Burning ticks is not really great for me. So the original deck list list actually had two Edric in it. And that was just way too cute. Hey, we found a match. Awesome. Alright. Good luck to me. And I hope you all enjoy. Uh, we won the die rolls. So that's a good start. We're against someone that's 2-1. Um, this hand's pretty weak. I think this could be a lot better. Uh, we don't have like the black mana for anything we have in hand, so... This hand's closer. It's kind of like... If we find a green source, we can like low wasteland if our opponent's on the greedy mana base. Um, Grim Flare we can't currently cast, so I'm going to happily bottom that. So this gives us the ability to, like, Fatal Push, Baleful Strix turn 2 to dig a little bit into our deck. We'll start with Basic Island. Um, can lead our opponents to believe, like, we're Miracles or some type of control deck. So our opponent might actually be Miracles. They could be Sneak and Show. I guess this could also be, like, Random Storm when they start Basic Island Ponder. It's more likely going to be Sneak and Show or uh, Miracles. see what we draw here. So we drew a Grim Flare anyways, even on bottom one, so. My usual luck. <laughs> I did bottom that card, right? Yeah, I did put the card on bottom. So I had two Grim Flares in a row, apparently. So a green source would be great here. So obviously, now we have multiple green cards we're going to want to cast. Fetch line wouldn't be bad. Another Ponder. So, ugh. You mismatch Ponders? What a monster my opponent is. <laughs> See what their second land is. Flood Strand. So chances are it's miracles. It could still be sneak and show with the Flood Strand. I mean, really any blue fetch will work. This is probably gonna mirror. Yeah, the portent is exact. That's definitely miracles. Um, so vial would be great. Um, <laughs> is that really what Grim Player is doing? Holding a glove in his coat's made of hands. That's pretty gross. Hi, Queen Bee. How are you doing? I'm not entirely sure who you are. Oh, are you are you Blake? Wasn't actually anticipating you. If you are Blake, because I know that you were not able to. I didn't think you were going to be able to check it out. I'm glad you're here. So this is actually Queen Bee is the person I'm actually featuring this deck for. 
Search for Ascanta. We have like abrupt K and stuff, so we could potentially answer that. We do need to find a green source, obviously. Man is a little awkward at the moment. Look at that. Asking you a Charles Eve. Um, I think I just want to jam Leovold here. I'm just going to get an attack real quick. See if my opponent does anything. Uh, G Lavamancer is Connor. One of the main crew comes down for like our 1Ks and some random FMs and stuff. <clears throat> okay, so my opponent's waiting to go to our combat step. Goddamn Miracles players. Miracle's opponent may be disconnected, or maybe they're just start trying to figure out if they want to source this Bell Plus Tricks or not. I'm assuming like they're thinking like, oh, I have to fetch a ton. I, they can fetch it. Oh, they can fetch a planes off that. So I'm not really sure if they're worried about wasteland or not. Doesn't really particularly make sense why they didn't, why they waited so long. Who knows? All right. Um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and try to jam the scrim player here. Uh, I need to pay black. Black, green. So I want to hold the Tarmogoyf. I'd like them to use the swords before I play Tarmogoyf and before I play Leovold. So we're going to try and jam Grim Grimflare here, trying to force them to make an action on it. Good chance we'll probably see like a fetch and swords on Grimflare here. <clears throat> Mostly it's because if this thing grows, like they're probably in a little bit of trouble. Okay. So we have this wasteland when the search has Canto flips, so that's pretty nice. In fact, my opponent's very heavy on their basics. It's not great for us. Um, if they do find back to basics and play it, that can be a problem. Back to basics, I guess, would be a reason to actually include a forest in the deck list as well. I'm not even entirely sure the island really needs to be here, so it should probably just be forest swamp for the basic lands. I had the island here, I think, originally because I did have Jason the Mind Sculptor in this deck, which requires obviously double blue. Um, now that I don't have Jason the Mind Sculptor, I have no double blue cost except for Click, which can come in off a vial. So it could be worth it to just change this to a forest to help get around like back to basics and stuff. <clears throat> so, Search for Ascanta. Not Nilla card. Council's Judgment's probably going to get rid of this Grim Player, which I'm fine with. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to probably try and jam a Leovold here. Ooh, Sylvan Library, that's tempting. They just use this. They just use that. So, well, let's go to combat real quick. We'll attack, and then I, uh, I think I have to jam Sylvan Library. I don't think I can jam Leobold here. Well, I have six cards, so I'm gonna try and keep this wasteland up in case they try to flip the search for Ascanta. We're gonna jam this here. We're gonna hope that they don't have force. They have force. Okay, that's fine. Clears the way for Leobold. <coughs> um. So we can't do anything else at the moment. We're just going to go ahead and pass. If we can find another green source, we can double spell next turn with, like, Tarmogoyf, Life Alone. If we get to Wasteland, this is Ascanta. Find another green source, we can also Leobold and Goyf. Naturally, we Leobold first. So not flipping Search for Ascanta still. So there's Jace, which I was anticipating. I was actually anticipating that last turn, but... I did not... It made me look like an AE hole. So abrupt decay for the search fast canta to stop the card selection would be nice. Uh, this would have been the dream to have a vial right now. A well, vial in response to Jace and put him in Leobold. Like nice brainstorm, now I'm gonna attack it and kill it. Fatal push is going to be pretty bad here. We're going to have to have them. We're, they're going to have to have mentor for it to be relevant. We're still going to be a little bit. We're still going to play a little. We're still going to be a little scared about them having back to basics. Back to basics definitely ruins our day a little bit with where we're sitting. Love to find like a fetch land or something so we can start fetching loaming and whatnot. Okay, so we'll just pass. Uh, that's kind of a green source. Okay, so by you. 
we're gonna double spell here. We're gonna leave old. No, this needs to be black here. This needs to be green. This is blue. There's Leovold. Oh no, I didn't do that right. I'm an idiot. I'm always an idiot. Why am I always an idiot? Okay, well. Attack Jace here. Hmm. Yeah, I should have used Underground Sea for the. Using Underground Sea obviously would have been better, because then I have the green for the time of life. Okay, Sledge Strand. That's a thing. If they try to brainstorm here, that would be delightful. They're probably just clearing off their top deck from the Jace Brainstorm. Assuming they'll be digging to Terminus at this point. Okay, my opponent's having trouble picking a land, clearly. You get Island or Plains, that one, buddy. Probably Island is what you want. Plains, okay. What you got? Sodes? Okay, we're gonna draw a card. Vile, that would be nice to have in play already. <clears throat> the one of Loam is main deck. I actually, um, so since I've shown you the list, I've actually, I dropped the Jaces entirely, added, um, added two Liliana to the last token in place of it, mostly just because she's, I had some trouble with, like, opposing Dilfal Strikes, just making sure I can remove them. Uh, if I got creatures countered or whatever, Liliana the last token also rebuy those creatures. Um, Jace is also four mana, which can be tough. Um, so I dropped the two Jace, added two Liliana the last hope. And then I dropped the four Force Will from the main and added the one Life Loam and three Thoughtseize main. And then moved the forces to the sideboard. So the sideboard has like a lot of blue cards. So you still got like that blue heavy presence post board. Um, if you need the Force Wills against combo. Alright. So hmm. I really want this vial to resolve. I don't want to have to worry about. So I'm gonna try hard cast the timer by. See if they tap down a little bit. I don't want to worry about hard cast force of will on my vial. I'd rather have vial resolve if I can help it. Uh, they didn't bite on that, so I'm just going to play this. It's way more of a green black deck main board than any up. Okay. So we were able to resolve both of those. It's possible I should have just gone to, I also should have just gone to combat first. Uh, we're going to try and continue to take this Jace down the peg. And we're going to continue holding up Wasteland for their search for Ascanta. Okay. So Blake, if you want to see the updated deck list, just here you go. Okay. <sighs> so anyone who's curious about the deck list, that's what it looks like currently. Terminus. Who didn't see that coming? No problem. Yep, you have a terminus. Any order doesn't matter. It's done split their search for Ascanta. That's unfortunate. I hope they don't find another the top pair target. They're targeting me with that, obviously. So I mean I can sneak a snapcast image in here to keep their Jace down a bit. I don't think that's really worth it. I think I'd rather have the Snapcast image if I can find like Hindatorok or something. Uh, they put a card on top of my library and then they cast Portent targeting themselves. Yep, yeah, I got one of Edric in here. <laughs> so we got Edric and Leobold. They both work for trust. One's an emissary, one's a uh, one's a spy master. So they kept a card on top of our library with our Jace, with their Jace. That's obviously not a good sign. Their portent kept all three cards on top, they didn't shuffle. Now they're brainstorming put cards into their hand directly. So chance they found land and council's judgment, in which case we could be losing this file right here. Back to basics. Okay, that's not great for us, but it's not it's not horrible at this moment. So we can still cast our life loan at the moment, so we're okay right now. Okay, we're gonna yield to this and we're gonna say yes. Just, just not bad. Um hmm. I think I want to actually kind of want to waste my one of my green sources and then life loan both them back, all three lands back. So that way I can actually get untapped green sources in play again. We'll replay the wasteland right now. In case they flip their search for Ascanta, we don't want them to even get one activation. 
I don't know if this is particularly relevant, but we should be able to hopefully slowly sneak it away. So they actually milled a Jace with their Ascanta. Playing fetch line actually might not have been bad since they put a card on top of our library, we'd be able to fetch it away. We're gonna hope not to lose this file because we kind of need it. Here's Snap. Yeah, here comes Snap Council Judgment. So we're not gonna we're gonna lose this file here. That kind of sucks. So we might actually be in a little bit of trouble at this point. <clears throat> we do have our mana sources still, so we can still like get rid of this back to basics if we drop Rep Decay. Definitely gonna be fetching Swamp with this. Um, no, I don't want to dredge. Yeah, another wasteland. Maybe dredging would have been correct there. Um, yeah. So we're probably gonna fetch Swamp. We're gonna kill a Snapcaster Mage with our Fatal Push. If I can answer this back to basics, I'm definitely gonna do it after I wasteland a Tundra, so I don't get to untap that. Card on top. Actually, them putting card on top doesn't matter because we're fetching anyway. We're gonna get our basic swamp. We're gonna fatal push this. <clears throat> this is definitely where like a basic force would come in handy for sure. So it's a little unfortunate. Uh, I'm not gonna dredge. File's not bad. Let's drop. Um. I just want to put the file into play here. Hope they can't interact with it. This will help us since we're going to have to tap our lands and stuff. I want to get Jit in play, but I don't think here is the right time for it. I don't I don't think I can... Yeah, it's probably fine. I don't think I need to keep Wasteland up at this point. We have another Wasteland hand anyways that my opponent knows about, so... Jace is just going upstairs now. So we need to find a good one. They put a card on top. They keep putting cards on top. That does not hold well for us. Um, I'm going to use the ability on Vile for sure. And then I'm going to dredge back Life Loam. See what they put on top. Vile, Vile, Strix, you know, all that's kind of garbage. So I didn't want to do that anyway. Um, yeah. It's not looking great. So I think I have to do that crap again with Loam to make sure our green sources are untapped. That, that, that. Okay. So they're just going to go 11 here. We can hopefully get a Snapcast Mage in play and kind of get Jace down, but I think we're in trouble. Jace is just, we're at the moment, hitting pretty well on us. They put a lot of cards on top of our library. Now they put a card on bottom, so. Jace has done a very good job at controlling our top decks. So we're in a little bit of trouble here. Okay, we will not dredge. Another land is not great. Not what we're looking for at all. Um, it's really unfortunate. So I'm just going to have to pass. They play a creature here. I can flash and Snapcast a mage and Fatal Push the creature. Probably should have just played fetch land in case Jace puts a card on top, but I don't think the Snapcaster Mage is going to stay in play anyway, so this game's probably just over. You really need to find like a Rupt K at this point to free up our mana more. We also need to find less mana. Like at this point, we found like, a Leovold and Grimflare on the bottom of our library. They exiled. Oh, they. Or was it Leovold and. Vile? I don't know. I think that Council Judgment like Leovold, Vile. Grimflare got swords. <sighs> what are they doing? Card on top. Yeah, we're pretty fucked. Basically, we just gotta hope they don't have swords here. We're gonna do this. So yes. Another snap cast mage in the play. We'll target fatal push in case they play their own. Okay. Now they have this Kanta in play. It's not good. Yeah, they had swords anyway, so we're just dead now. Nobody can stop this chase from killing us. Draws are pretty bad there, but it happens. Uh, we're definitely going to want another Sylvan Library. Two Bitter Blossoms, nice. 
we don't want flood surgicals. Flood storms, my big traps for us. I don't think those are good. I don't think I want. Eh, I don't think I want Umazawa's Jide. Jit, whatever. Uh, fatal pushes don't seem great. So I think that's what we're doing. Two berry blossoms, extra sub library for two fatal push and jet. We still have the abrupt decays, and we can still snap abrupt decay. So I don't, I'm not too worried about mentors or not too worried about mentor. I'm not too worried about back to basics and whatnot. We should hopefully have enough answers. We just need to find an abrupt decay there to answer it earlier. Um, this is pretty good. I mean, if we can, you know, hopefully we're, we want to draw more land, but having double vials is pretty good. It requires them to have two answers to shut down our creature, um, to shut down our ability to put creatures into play. So I'm actually pretty happy with this hand. Tens again, it's not perfect. Like we definitely want another land, so we can definitely jam the Silver Library. I'd like to jam Silver Library turn two if we draw land next turn. It's basically force or bust. If we draw a land, it's force or bust to resolve the Sylvan Library. I'm okay with those odds. Uh, we'll always yield, and we're gonna hit yes. Okay, drop, perfect. So let's see if we can resolve the Sylvan Library. All right, go force, awesome, perfect. So I'm probably just gonna the first Sylvan Library. I'll probably just take a bunch. Let's get some extra cards in hand. Hopefully, find some more lands. Uh, yes, we'll go to two. Okay. Yes, we'll use the ability. Um, nope. I'm just gonna, hmm. I'm gonna play both vials here. So I'll put that on top. I'll pay for life to keep that in hand. I'm just gonna play two more vials here. Get the train going. We can also get a Belfastrix or a Timer Life or Grim Player in play. I'm probably looking to get my Grim Player in play at the end of their turn. I'd rather make them waste removal on Grim Player before they waste before they get to use removal on Timer Glyph. And now we've overloaded with Vials. It requires them to have Pithing Needle, which I don't know if they'll have. If they do have it, it's unlikely they have it right in hand. Um, Engineering Explosive is going to be a concern here. They could still like disenchant, snap disenchant, and do crap like that. Miracle stuff, that, things that Miracles does, you know. But I think we're going to be okay with what the setup is right here. What you got? Predict. Okay. Predict target themselves. They know their top cards because they pondered last turn, so they should know what the third card down was. Okay, then counterbalance. They named Counterbalance, of course. Yeah, Counterbalance seems pretty bad against Library, Triple Vial, and a Bug deck. I don't know why Counterbalance is still in the deck. They saw Vial game one. Opponent asked what my record was. <laughs> it's my first match, so it's 0 0. Disenchant my Library. That's obnoxious. I can put Grim Flare in play right now. Okay. So losing library is unfortunate. I probably should just draw the extra card with it, but um, I'm gonna say no on this one for now. I'm gonna say yes on the other two. All right. I guess knowing I, not realizing I was gonna draw, not thinking about the fact I was gonna draw Edric, that was pretty bad. Uh, use this file, put in Belfast Tricks. We're going to hope to find land. Find land, we're going to try and get Edric into play this turn. Into Torak, and we don't have double rip, so that kind of sucks. Okay, oh, just punching for two. We'll look at our top three, we'll be able to fix up some of our top decks. I want all these. This can go, I think the trap can go in my graveyard. The Abrupt K can go on top, as well as the Misty Rainforest. Okay, put all those on top. And I'm just going to jam a Goyf here. I guess I could have jammed Strikes and played a land, but that's okay. I'm good with that. Okay. 
sure my opponent's going to be real pissed when I play Edric next turn and get a bunch of draw triggers. Okay. I won't have responses. I won't have anything to do with my opponent's turn, so I'm just going to have to force Terminus. Why the fuck would they have Terminus? Yeah, get a little greedy here, I guess. Nope. Any order. I'm nothing gonna him them this turn. I think him to Tarak feels real good right now. Red fetch line's gonna get a black source. We're gonna him to Tarak our opponent. Shuffle those creatures back in. They targeted me, so I don't know if they're gonna get rid of the land or not. So they know they have land, and we don't know about other things on top. Putting three cards on top. I guess we have land abrupt decay they're going to see. They didn't shuffle, but I'm sure we're not drawing abrupt decay here, which is fine. Oh, they might predict us, though. That would be obnoxious. Yes. I go yes on all our vials. They don't predict us before I draw step. Okay. We're gonna use this vial and play Belfle Shrek. We're gonna draw a card. Right. We're definitely going to fetch, get a black source, and we're gonna we're gonna hem them. Good chance it doesn't resolve. But I'm fine with that. So we get Swords Island. That's pretty good. I'll take that. Edric's going to be pretty good if we can get it into play. Uh, Gideon. Okay, that's a problem. Very big problem. I don't know if I can beat a Gideon. Oh no. Nope. Yes. No. Being a Gideon, eh? Let's get rid of that Tundra. I get the spy. Gets this Edric in play. I'm gonna attack in. Attack Gideon with the oh, Shrek. Oh no! Can I go back? I have to actually deal combat damage to my opponent, which is not Gideon. That fucking sucks. <laughs> Fuck this. Oh, I'm so bad at this game sometimes. I just wanted to draw some cards. That was unfortunate. Yeah, Gideon's becoming a big boy. As a rule, I really fucking hate Gideon. The fact he gets indestructible and you prevent all damage and all that, just bullshit. <laughs> I've lost to Gideon a lot on Death on Taxes. And now he's legendary, so I guess Krakus can now bounce him, so that's kind of neat. I'm going to say no to all these. I don't see is not what we want. Okay. So yeah, I don't like where we're going here. Don't like this at all. We got disenchant, snapcaster mage. It's cute. Probably see swords here or disenchant swords. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I think we've lost this one. I don't think we can beat a Gideon. Might be a consideration to have some number of Maelstrom Pulse in here. Maybe a lot more aggressive and Terminus just kind of fucks that. Uh, yeah, sure. You have a Sword Splashers on that. Yep, I'm very dead here. I guess Pithing Eel can work as well. Assassin's Trophy is going to be real good. <laughs> Assassin's Trophy will help with this crap really well. So yeah, Assassin's Trophy is definitely something that would come in here. I don't think we can beat Gideon at this point, though. Like, a Goyf can block it for days, but... Requires having a Goyf. We don't have a Goyf. And Life alone is not a Goyf, so... Our opponent gets the win. So we lost 0-2 against Miracles. Drew a lot of lands game one. Got a, they got a Jace down, and that didn't help us at all either. 
Game two, I definitely made a couple errors. I forgot to like Violin and Edric and didn't attack them to draw cards. They had Gideon too, which is like tough for us. Definitely overextended into Terminus for no reason. Would love to find a click at some point for when they have Terminus, because being able to use Vile to cheat in a click is great when they are trying to cast Terminus. This hand if I had a couple lands would be awesome. This hand is shit though. Um, yeah, this hand's pretty bad too. Well, this hand's the most keepable hand we've found so far. Uh, another trap. We don't want another trap, so we'll start with the Misty Rainforest since I go. Yeah, I think having more reasonable answers to like stuff like Jace and like Planeswalkers in general, as well as like having another like land answer for like stuff like Depths is pretty good. Like mostly like being able to answer like Jace the Mind Sculptor, I think is like really relevant for the card. Um, so I definitely need Black Source here. I can't fetch a Swamp. Uh, I think I'm just going to get another... No, I have to get another Underground Seed so we can open up the possibility for our Click. We're going to hit our opponent. Our opponent's a Randomator deck. They're going to cast some Team in response. We're going to hopefully hit Reanimation spells from them. Uh, we hit Reanimate. That was it late from the dead. That doesn't necessarily mean that they don't have another Reanimation spell in hand. But it does mean if they don't have another land in hand, they can't just like, oh, okay, they have Lotus Pebble anyway. So, yeah, never didn't have it. Um, assuming we're going to see Exhum or Entomb. Yeah, Exhum, there it is. Uh, Crystal Brand's going to draw a bunch of cards, and we're going to proceed to lose because we can't beat a Crystal Brand main board. So, yeah, you got it. So here we're going to we're gonna go on our control-heavy version. Um, so we got four Force of Wills, two Mind Break Trap, two Flutterstorm, two Surgicals to bring in here. Um, him to Torak in general, I'm not a huge fan of. Lily the Last Hope's not going to be great here because it's not going to answer any of their creatures. Um, our, Ed our Edric's definitely bad. Notion Thieves and Leovolds are good because they can shut down a lot of their draw power. Abrupt Decays are generally only going to be able to answer like their um, are only going to be able to answer their like anime deads. So I don't particularly want Abrupt Decays, so we're going to drop those. Um, I'm going to keep one in and drop the Life Flume since Life Flume is pretty much never going to do anything here. Yes, having an extra Sylvan Library might not be as might be better than having the Abrupt Decay, but I don't think it is. Maybe I'll try that. Maybe I'll drop the Sylvan Library and keep a second Abrupt Decay. That might actually just be better. Notion Thief might just be slow. Um, well, I could have played Leo, but they are, would have already drawn like either seven or fourteen cards with their Gristlebrand. So I'd, like keeping like playing Leo next turn doesn't do anything with their Gristlebrand. Just starts punching me to death. Um, so this hand's okay. It's not perfect. Obviously, we need like a lot of colors here. I'm gonna start with. We're gonna go with Bayou. We're gonna thought seize them. They have like a quick combo. We're gonna try to break that up. I don't think I kept in Fatal Push. Did I? Oh no, I kept in Fatal Push. Shit. Well, that sucks. Um. Well, they can ramp into an early Grave Titan. So I think I'm just taking. Awkward enough, I think I have to take Red Monolith here. I want to take Thoughtseize though, but I think I have to take Grimala. I'm fine with them Thoughtseizing me once. <clears throat> oh, I can't believe I kept in Fatal Push. I didn't even notice that. Fatal Push was definitely supposed to come out. Scrolling down to look at the other cards I had in my deck was definitely what blocked my vision on that. That was bad. Well, if I make it through this game, I have an easy board out. <laughs> and now we know that like Grimala is and shit. Um, I think I'm going to force this Pitching the Ocean Thief. I don't want them to have the information. I probably should have taken Thoughtseize and like pitched and like countered the Grim Monolith or countered like the Grave Titan when it came down. That might have been better. Well, oh, Thoughtseize, not bad. Let's see what they drew. Dark Ritual, okay. So now their hand is Grave Titan, Petal, Stage, Swamp, Play Wasteland. Next turn we're definitely going to be jamming Goyf. So they have one unknown in hand. I don't think they can just ramp in a Grave Titan here. Hopefully. That'd be really bad if they could. Uh, my Breed Trap. Not going to be amazing. If they have to go like multiple spells into things, like my Breed Trap will come in handy. But in general, my Breed Trap's probably going to end up pitching. Let's see what they do here. So we know they have Stage, Grave Titan. So if they go Stage, Dark Ritual. Oh, they drew an Orb 
So they can cast Grave Titan here, and they haven't cast three spells yet, so I can't just Mind Break Trap. So that sucks. So now their hand is just Thespian Stage. And we're in some trouble. <laughs> can't answer Grave Titan really easy. And another Wasteland doesn't help us. These are all black sources at least, so there's that. Uh, yeah. I think we just lose from here. I don't think we can beat this fucking Grave Titan. Draws didn't really come together, so it's kind of unfortunate. And it was definitely a sketchy keep, but I don't know if I had anything better to do. Could have wasteland their orb just out of spite, I guess. I guess that's all I can really do here. Yeah, I, I can't beat this. Uh, okay. So, ported out jets. At least block some tokens. There's that. <laughs> Definitely not blocking Grave Titan until I can actually kill it. Yeah, I'm pretty fucking dead here. Yeah, I'm dead. Can't do anything. Okay. Well, so far our deck is sucking. <laughs> At least against Miracles, I had much better games. That was unfortunate. Definitely should have taken Thought Seize and just used the Force a little on the Great Titan. That was a mistake. Ugh, can't believe I also forgot. I can't believe I didn't board out Fatal Pushes. Definitely a card that I would not have wanted to keep in. Keeping abrupt caves would have been way better. <laughs> so we are 0 and 4 in games so far. Not great. View the deck while we're waiting on this. Yeah, so I did this when I was boarding and stuff, so I completely missed the fact Fatal Push was still in there. <laughs> that, was a, that was a silly mistake to make. It's a little smaller so we can fit it all, maybe. It's possible the four wastelands are a little greedy. It's possible there shouldn't be four wastelands. I'm definitely starting to think, considering the games we've had so far, once Assassin Trophy trophy comes out, Life Home's probably gonna get cut. Notion Thief will probably get cut because just because it's four mana, it's kind of expensive. That'll at least be two Assassin's trophies. Aside from that, I think I'm okay with the way the deck list is set up. The sideboard might need a little more work too. Uh, that's Edric, Spy Master of Trust. So that's the uh, legendary elf robe, one green blue. Whenever a creature deals combat damage to one of your opponents, it con its controller may draw a card. So this combined with like Baleful Strix and Grim Flare with Trample and Clicks that fly and stuff um, gives you the ability to like, kind of draw some extra cards throughout the game. So we're 0 2 playing on some of this 1 2. Um, we won the die roll, so we're going to play first. So we're doing very good as far as winning the die roll. This hand's good. I, I'm, I can get behind this. You know, this is fine. We got our colors, so we're happy. Start with a trap. We'll probably just turn to a Grim Flare. Wasteland. Well, get fucked. <laughs> Yay. At least they didn't fall at Mox Diamond. That's good. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Play this fetch line we just drew. Chances are next turn we're probably going to be casting Life Form. Fuck is this? Watery Grave? Oh, so we're playing against Death Shadow Aggro. It's bullshit. Um, bye you. Rug alert? No. Death Shadow Aggro alert. Oh, Pat. I uh, will get... I guess I want to get an island. No, i got to get a green source. i got to make sure I can cast Lifeform multiple times. I'm definitely going to just play... I'm going to play Grim Flare here. <clears throat> this likely get, just gets dazed. 
I have a redundant Grim Flayer. I have a Tarmogoyf. Um, a creature in my graveyard makes Goyf bigger. It also gets us closer to a Grim Flayer. Uh, if we can draw a Wasteland, that would be really great. Because I can start Wastelanding and Loaming. Um, I can eventually kill the stupid Insect Owl operation. Opponent drew a Thought Seize. That's not great. It will get to peek at our hand and likely take either Goyf or Grim Flayer. They could take Life from him to force us to dredge to get it back, but I don't think that's going to be the case. It's going to be probably Tarmer Goyf. Grim Flayer is like a close second to take as well. This is another reason why I wanted the Lily on Last Hope over Jace, because when they Thought Seize to like tear apart your hand and take some of your key creatures, Lily on Last Hope can just randomly rebuy stuff. I'm definitely thinking this deck might need, so originally this deck had um, Deathrite Shamans. I'm thinking this deck might want some number of like Noble Hierarchs or something, just as like the Mana Ramp creature. But also, this deck doesn't have any one turn one plays. It's like four Vile, three Thought Seize, two Fatal Push. So it's probably worth it to have some more of stuff like that. I don't know what the hell it cut is the only problem. Like turn two Leobold, turn two like Click and stuff like that isn't is pretty good, so... Phone's taking a real long time looking at my hand. They're taking time rock. That's kind of what I figured. Cycling Street Wraith. Okay. So one thing we have to watch out for here is these decks have been running reanimates. So now that they've thought to use taking my time away, but they reanimate it. Uh, right now there's time of some four or five. So like two, they're going to lose two life, but they're going to get my goyf. Um, I think here, definitely just going to jam Grim Flare. Next turn, it's likely going to be like Loam into Strix, especially if they reanimate Goyf, because I'm going to want a good blocker for their for my own Tarmer Goyf, as much as that sucks to say. So right now, we only have two card types. If this Baleful Strix gets countered, that adds a third. If we cast Life from them, that adds a fourth. Water gave. So I'm assuming we're going to see Death Shadow here. Yeah. They're, they're knocking the light till nice and low. Okay. Delver's coming in for the beats. Okay. Wouldn't mind finding Fatal Push here or Abrupt K. Wasteland's not terrible. I'll take a Wasteland. Scared of that land. I'm just going to go ahead and cast Loam now. I should not have targeted all three lands, though. So maybe they'll counter this. should not have targeted all three lands, because now we're going to be stuck on three, three card types. That was a mistake. I'm just used to Loam like you just want as many lands back as possible. So that was kind of stupid. Something to think about, like when you need your three card type or four card types in play in your graveyard or whatever. Like Definitely something to think about when you're planning on stuff like that. But... We get to waste them off their land, so like their dazes will be shut off and stuff like that. Um, I would love to attack a Grim Flare here, but I don't think I really can. Another water gave, geez. Okay, they're finding mana. Another Delver, okay. Yeah, we're in a, we're in a little bit of trouble. So I think I'm just going to have to chump. I don't want to chump here, but I think I'm going to have to. Like, this is 8 damage we're about to take. Can't do that. Jump here. We need to find removal. I have a lot of removal in this deck, so we should be able to find it. Or at least I have, should have enough removal. There's another fucking land. That's perfect. <sighs> My life. Okay, let's fetch. Uh, just continue getting green black sources. So we're going to get Strix and Black. Make sure I tap my mana like a human. I don't have Decay in Graveyard. No, there's two Grim Flares in the Graveyard. If I could have snapped Decay, I absolutely would. I feel like we're going to eat a Force of Will. Yeah, there's the Force of Will. Um, so I can flash in a Snapcaster Mage to just block the Death Shadow, but it's not pretty. If they have Days, I'm just fucked. Um, if they have Days, I'm fucked anyway, anyway, so. So I need this Delver not to flip. They drew a Thought Seize, so they're going to Thought Seize us. Their Death Shadow is going to get huge. In response to the Death Shadow, I have to, in response to Thought Seeds, I just have to flash in Snapcaster Mage for no value. So I'm going to need this as a chump blocker. I'm going to take six regardless. So, yeah. I'm going to take six regardless and go to three. 
So I need, like, Baleful Strix into Repticator, like, Baleful Strix into Fatal Push, and I still don't think that's good enough. Right? No, that's not good enough. Because Dust Shadow I can't answer. So I'm going to go with three. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. I need to, like, just kill shit, and I can't. We got tempoed out very well by them this game. Uh, nope. Himtarak doesn't do it. So... Yeah, we could have had like at least a, a decent attack in there if we if I didn't fuck up the uh, if I didn't fuck up on the Grim Flare with Life Alone. So we're gonna bring in Bear Blossoms here. We're gonna bring in Jit. Um, Civil Library might be okay. I'm not sure if I really want it yet. Vile's gonna be great here. They really have no answer for him. I think Notion Thief's weak. <clears throat> not huge. I think Liliana Last Hope's probably not great. But the fact she can rebuy creatures, if we have to like kind of like throw creatures into the meat grinder, I think it's good enough. But I don't think clicks are gonna be great here. Bitter blossoms and our double jet should be good enough. Cut Leovold? Yeah, okay, I can see that. Bring in a Tox Deluge. Bring in a second library. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Edric's a possible cut as well to bring back in like a click, but clicks nice because it can just like fly through the air. My opponent can't block. Love to have a hand that actually has vials and doesn't draw a fuck ton of land. One of the things I've been having a problem with is drawing a lot of land when I don't actually have that many land in the deck. When it's 20 land in the deck, I've been finding a lot of games where I'm getting mana flooded. So it's possible this deck needs to go down to like 19 or 18. Uh, I will... So Brepcane Hand's nice, but I'm kind of nervous because they just have like Thoughtseize. I can just lose it. If they Thoughtseize reanimate, like I just I lose a Goyf, which is worse. Um, we'll see what happens. Yeah, being low to the ground is probably fine. <clears throat> Fetch, Watery Grave, Thoughtseize. Delver, okay. Delver's fine for now. <clears throat> so I think the right call here is just jamming Goyf. Could also just be kill the Delver, but I think jamming Goyf here is just correct. We got two green sources. going to be Bayou and Trop. Um, this way I can definitely life them next turn if they start wastelanding us. Uh, we're definitely going to jam a goif, though. They have days. It sucks, but... I can't really just take my time against this deck to get threats in a play. Unfortunate thing about temple decks is you kind of have to play in the temple game. Now they have days, so we know about that one at least. Um, definitely most likely going to be a Rupt King with Delver. Especially since we have Snapcaster Mage in hand. We could potentially abrupt decay Delver and then snap abrupt decay like a Dust Shadow or something. We do have to like, keep in mind that like Days is a card right now. It's like drawing a Fatal Push here would be very good. I'd rather Fatal Push this. Dismember. Okay. You know. That's a Dismember. That's a Dust Shadow. So we're going to abrupt decay the fuck out of the Dust Shadow. So I haven't. I'd love to find a vial in this matchup. Uh, let's start with Baleful Strix. No, I think I have to just. I think I can't take a chance. I just have to get this Dash Shadow off the board. I can play Baleful Strix next turn after Loaming too. Although I guess I still have to be aware. I have to be aware aware of days though, because they do have days in hand, which I'm aware of. Hoping they miss, like, if we end up with exactly four lands for a snap abrupt K, I'm hoping they miss the fact that dazing my snap would be enough to keep me off abrupt K. Uh, Wasteland's not great here. It's not really what I want to see. Uh, I'm gonna lead. Yeah, I'm gonna lead on abrupt on a loam. Like two deltas. I think here I'm probably just going to try and develop my mana a bit. I guess there's no reason not to just jam ball full tricks here. I guess there's no reason to just jam it into a daze though, so... I'm just going to hold off. Next turn I'll have a snap of Rupticate that can play through a daze. I can hopefully kill his Delver. I'm drawing a lot of land. Okay, I'm going to take three more. 
We do have double jet, so we do have the ability to gain some light back, which is nice. We will not use that ability. We'll play this wasteland. So we're going to start with Snapcaster. <clears throat> Target Abrupt K. If they don't counter the Snapcaster, if they counter the Snapcaster, we'll just play Baleful Strix. If they counter the Snapcaster. So we're just going to play Baleful Strix here. Um, so we can still pay for the days. Likelihood of them having like Force Blue card or whatever is very likely. Um, there is a chance that they have like removal here, which means Baleful Strix just dies anyway. Yeah, okay. They just have it all. They have it all. Like, not much you can do about that. So we know the last card in their hand. Uh, force pitch days, right? Exile is force of will. So we, they still have a days. Jesus Christ. Oh, another land. Come on, deck. What are you doing? <clears throat> we fetched three times. I don't know how we keep on finding all these lands. <clears throat> Surgical out life alone. That's a one of. Absolutely. You can have my life alone. <laughs> so we know the last card in the hand is Days. We definitely jam Glyph's next turn, but we need to find removal for this goddamn Delver. That removing one life alone doesn't increase our chances of finding removal, which is unfortunate. Um, even a Liliana Last Hope here at least keeps Delver as a 2-1, one, <clears throat> as a 1-1, one, one, which I'm fine with. <clears throat> and we draw a fucking Glyph. Alright, well, <clears throat> just damn double Goyfs. They can't kill us this turn. We can kill them on the swing back. Alright. Let's play a land. I mean, I'm just going to play a third. No, I don't want to jam it into days. That's right. How about one extra life? I don't think matters, though. And I don't think jamming the swing into days really makes sense. They just hard cast it. It doesn't matter. They have to answer Goyf here. If they don't draw an answer for Goyf, they could draw like Brainstorm into answer. Yeah, okay, that's what. That's what's up. Um, yeah, so what was I thinking earlier? Yeah, Adric can definitely go. And maybe. I think I want to keep a Leo. No, keeping a click, I think, is right. We've been struggling with the Delver mostly. So we're going to put a click in here. Give us another Flyer. And Edric's not going to really give us that much value. Like, it requires us to stick a bunch of creatures and stuff. Vile's a good start. If we can resolve it, we're in good shape. So our possible opponent just has, like, days, though. So I'm not excited for that, but... We jam a Vile. If they have days, cool. They got the days. If they don't, then we get a Vile. Cycle Street Wraith, okay. Cycle Street Wraith, okay. It's going to be a turn one Death Shadow. Uh, turn one Delver, okay. Sure. Uh, I'm gonna fetch this deck. Um, it might not want vile. It might just want like noble hierarch. You might not be crazy. This is just like an interesting concept I had, where you like you can have vials like randomly like vile shit in, like at random times. Like you get vile which are, like where, like you can randomly sneak in a click against stuff. Um, okay, yeah, days was expected. Uh, I'd like to just be able to resolve like a timer by for Grim Flare or even a Hand of Tarok next turn. <clears throat> but like yeah, having Vile makes like makes it so your like man is a little friendlier with like your Snapcaster Mage into Hymn to Torox and stuff like that. Vile in like Notion Thief, Vile in like Leovold, Vile in like an Edric before combat damage is pretty sweet. Um, my opponent's doing a lot of damage to themselves. And I'm not gonna complain about that. I think I'm just jamming a Grim Flare here. I don't really see any reason why not. But also just him to rock my opponent, try and get some more removal out of their hand. Try and get like removal and permission out of their hand. But I think I think jamming a Goyf here is correct. Because they put themselves down to eight, so if this Goyf connects like even twice, it's just like dead. Another fucking days. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You would decay. And they haven't flipped Delver, we're at 17 and they're at 8. I don't think there's a rush to answer this Delver at the moment. They drew a dismember, okay, that's something to think about. Definitely gonna kill Delver now though. Um uh, wasteland that. Not Grim Flare. Just kill it with a Brooks King. Yeah, I was mostly thinking like playing Goyf into killing their Delver. 
leaves like Goyf like wide open to just punch face. But yeah, avoiding days is, was probably just better. And firing off that wasteland right away might have not been correct. Uh, but now we can start jamming Grim Flares, and I believe this is a 4 4 right now, right? Yeah, we have Delirium, so this is a 4 4. They have a Dismember in hand, but it requires them paying 4 life. So we're in decent shape here. It might be worth it next turn to just like loam, but no, they're death patching. Okay. It's definitely not worth it to loam here. They might just pay 2 life to just Dismember this now. One and a black, and then two life. Um, we just jam Grim Flare after Grim Flare. I don't think it's worth it to take a turn off to Dialog Edict. Sure. I don't know if it's worth it to take a turn off to like him them or like loan. I think I'm gonna him them though. I'm getting kind of sick of their shit. They're forcing it. Pitching brainstorm. So we know they have Dismember in hand, we don't know the other card in their hand. But at the moment we're doing a decent job of outvaluing them. So I think here it's definitely worth it to life from loam, and then play Grim Flare, and then start wastelanding them. I think wastelanding right off that was fine. Maybe. Best Shadow, okay. It's a 9-9, nine -nine. that's a big one. Find more removal? No, we can't. Of course not. Uh, oh, fuck it, eh? Yeah. The fact of them digging and then casting stuff, Wasteland was probably worth it. Now we're, like, on the back foot. And it's a Death Shadow. Which is not a good feeling. Well, they can attack us with Death Shadow and not have a blocker and just die. So playing Grim Flare here, they actually go to block, we can just block. If they actually go to attack, we just can block if we want to. Uh, we know they have Dismember in hand, which they can't currently cast without killing themselves. Reanimate, target my Tarmogoyf. That's the most obnoxious play that this fucking deck does. Bot sees you and then reanimate. It's fucking bullshit. So yeah, we're definitely dead here now. Yeah, there's no way I can answer all this, so we're just fucking... This is bullshit. Oh my god. Fucking reanimate. I should have followed your voice, Pat. Should have wastelanded them. So I couldn't just ponder and then play a freaking creature. Now we're just dead. <laughs> I can't answer this board. If I drew, like, Tox de Luge here, I'd been fine, but I can't answer this board as, in, as is now. <sighs> Fuck this deck. <laughs> oh, three. Yeah, Vile should maybe just be Noble Hierarchs. Life alone probably shouldn't be in the deck. We stick with if I stuck with Vile's, I think that Vile's could also just be brainstorms. Clearly this deck needs some like fucking selection because drawing in this many lands has been absolutely ridiculous. How many instants and sorceries? Uh, there's three Hem to Torok, three Thought Seize, two Fatal Push, that's eight. To Life Alone, three Abrupt Case, that's twelve. I think that's it. Yeah, I think Brainstorm on Vile is definitely correct. Yeah, that's all the main board instants and sorceries. So twelve. Post board, there's 11 more. I mean, mostly like using Snapcast to make him to rock or Abrupt K or Fatal Push is really where you want to be. I haven't seen Snapcaster Mage all that much, and I haven't seen a lot of my instants and sorceries all that much, though. So it's been kind of weird. Draws have been really weird playing this deck tonight. I don't think I've ever seen a Notion Thief in a game playtesting it so far. Um. I've seen Click once or twice, but I haven't used it yet. No, there's no Ponder or Brainstorm. This deck probably should have Brainstorm. This deck maybe should have, like, two less lands. I don't know. I don't know where this deck should go. Should probably have four Brainstorm, though. I just fucking hate Brainstorm in general. I hate getting Brainstorm locked. <sighs> Ugh. <clears throat> 
So we finally lost a die roll. No lands in this hand, even though we've been drawing lands like crazy. <clears throat> this is the kind of shit that I've been dealing with. <laughs> uh, yeah. We're going to draw. We have a scry. We have a file. Let's keep it. We're going to bottom that grim player. <clears throat> Mana confluence are probably against dredge. Yep. It's, we're pretty fucked main board against this deck. <laughs> Luckily they didn't just go like LED crack careful study. So hopefully they're on a slower hand. This is where you need stuff like Deathrite Shaman. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Kinda of tempted to thought seize them here, but I think just playing files correct. So I already got their dredge ready to go. Like thought seize like we might catch like a careful study or something like that in hand, but I don't think that that's gonna be the case. Narc Amoeba off their Grave Troll. They also hit Dread Return, Cobble Therapy, Lion by Diamond, Faith Suiting, Gemstone Mine. So if they already have LED in hand, this is going to get really gross with that Faith Suiting. They have another like draw card in hand. And that can get really dirty with Faith Suiting as with uh, the dredgers they have. I guess they only have a Thug right now. This is a Faith Suiting, really. Oh, Jesus. Probably very dead here. Ashen Rider, Sepulchre Coliseum, Careful Study, Agreed. They found another, they found a Stinky Dump, and went into Lines of Diamond, Milk, Confluence, Gugari Grave Troll, Gugari Grave Troll, Gugari Thug. I guess one of the Grave Trolls was to discard on Faith Suiting. Do they have another Cantrip in hand already? They have a lot of Cantrips in hand, that's not good for us. If there's another Cantrip, I'm probably just gonna skip. I don't think I can win at this point. All right? Yeah, breakthrough, like, they got two Grave Trolls and I think we did And they're definitely bound to find another Grave Troll. And I can't see their graveyard anymore because they've dredged so much. Uh, no bridges yet. Wow. They can just flashback. I mean, at this point, they can also just flashback Dread Return for Ashen Rider to get, my, get rid of my Vile or my land. Ashen Rider is still a pretty good thing to have in play. You can also at the moment they have two cobble therapies, three. So you can also just like tear apart my hand pretty much. They now have no cards in hand. They also had a putrid imp and a cobble therapy in hand looks like that they discarded to break to break through. Got another good guy thug. Huh. Well then. What a good turn too. I think we just scoop here. I can't really be national. Right? Definitely need some number of diabolic geeks, possibly. Ah, oh, Jesus. All right, surgicals come in, obviously. Uh, Fatal push has come out. Cards not really. Eh. Fatal push can like randomly kill our own creature to kill their bridges, so that might actually stay in. Um, well, you know, last hope in general is going to be pretty bad. Notion Thief is going to be really slow and bad. It can, like, kind of hinder some of their card draw, but once they get their treasures going, they don't need card draw, so that's irrelevant. I think Jet's going to be fine. Tox Day Luge will be fine. I kind of want Force of Will. Plus the Storm. Don't see those as being that great. I was kind of bored out here. I boarded out so far. I guess hymns aren't great. Life loans kind of bad. So maybe I'll have to sell the library. Yeah, I think this is fine. Not really. Yeah, hymns are probably just garbage. I don't want hymns at all. I'm on the play. So they're like land LED. Draw a spell like mind break traps not terrible. Add some plus storms. Why not? I don't think I want all the counters though. Uh, this is capable. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think the deck just... So, like, I think the Vials are a great part of this deck. My draws have been really awkward in general. It could be because I need more creatures. It could also be because I need, like, just, like, Brainstorms in place of some other cards that are in here. I'm not 100% what this should be, but, like, the Vials with, like, Snap mean you're way more mana efficient when you're trying to, like, Snap and then Spell. So it could just be I have too many lands, too. I could just cut down to, like... I could cut down two lands. Cut down, like, Notion Thief and Edric and put four Brainstorm in here. Oh, sweet. We are very fucked, probably, here. Pew Trim? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, we're deep shit. Not gonna be good for us. Okay, they didn't... Just, okay. Hmm. Yeah, we'll use ability. Okay. So I don't think I can jam Sylvan Library here. I think I just have to actually hold a plus a storm. What are you doing? Sylvan Library could help us dig towards more, like surgicals and stuff like that. I don't think that's really great. I'm tempted to just jam a Baleful Strix here to hopefully find surgical, but there's two surgicals, so I think it's kind of loose. I think holding up plus storm is a winning proposition. The only problem with holding up plus storm is they do have LED, which can go to pay for things. They found a bridge, they found a dread return, they have a thug. They don't have any way to sack their future to get value from the bridge. Yeah. I wouldn't mind finding another land and getting a Grim Flare in play. Future Amp discarding a bridge from below. Future Amp has flying. Yeah, if they try to multiple fifth sitting, which I'm basically dead if they do that anyway. Okay. Yeah, that's true. It's possible this deck shouldn't even have Snapcaster Mages, quite frankly. This deck should probably either be more creature focused or more spell focused. Uh, yes, we use the ability. I got thoughts here. I don't think it's right. Ugh. Yeah, that's what they got. Maybe they have something relevant in hand that I don't want them to have in hand. We'll find out. They just have dredgers, which I can discard anyway, so this is like a free dredge dredger for them. That was just stupid. Thought seize was bad there. Last season would be much better on turn two, or turn one. Yeah. I think the deck has a lot of potential, but there's definitely, like, I don't know what direction the deck needs to go in. I played this at, like, an FNM once and went, like, 3-2, so I think it was fine back then, but I think I've just gone... Losing Deathrite obviously hurt, um, but I definitely think I need, like... Um, what's it called? I think I need, like, Noble Hierarch or something. I'm going to block this future him. Oh, yeah. I'm going to block it. That's right. I'm going to block this future him. Uh, yeah. So, like, the deck had four um, death right, and I was considering just swapping them for four Noble Hierarch. I never ended up getting around to it. So, I'm definitely blocking here, and this is going to give me the ability to get rid of the bridges. They will get, like, a, two tokens, but they'll lose the bridges right now. And that's two bridges down, which is nice. Um, then I have Grimflare Goyf, so I'm not too worried about those tokens attacking me. Yeah, two drops are real good right now. Uh, four noble, four strikes, two snap, two team. That seems fine. I like that. Okay. So here I'm probably just going Grimflare Goyf. Use that ability for Leo. Sweet. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to go Leo and Goyf, I guess. Leo and Goyf both can uh, block creatures for days. Leo at least gives me an ability where if they try to like draw a card somehow or target me, 
Oh, that's a Strix. That's not a Grim Flare. That sucked. Okay. You gotta start paying attention to things. <laughs> like looking at Leo on the screen clicking. That's not how you win games. That's how you lose the games. This can still block a zombie and kill it, so that's cool. <laughs> oh, they have an Icarid too. That's sweet. Yeah, Strix is still okay. Like, it drew me another card. It would have been nice if it drew me a land, because I could use a land. Well, next turn I can... No, I still can't, because I need four mana for that now, because I took up file. Ugh, fuck my life. So, at this point, I think if I found Surgical, I'd want to discard of the Dread Returns. Canary Icar is not terrible, though. I think Dread Return, just because, like, I think the one way I lose this is if they get the Dread Return, like, a large creature. I don't think I lose to Bridge from Blow, especially if I can find some type of removal. When I can just kill one of my own creatures in response to their triggers, or kill one of my creatures, get rid of them. And now I don't mana for Fate Fluster Storm like I've been holding up for our turns. Sucks. Ugh. I guess I could have just paid for it anyway. There's an Archimiba. Okay. And another Bridge from Below. So we found another Bridge from Below. Um, they have one Dread Return. They have a Cobble Therapy. They don't really have any of their normal Dread Return targets, but they could Dread Return and God Grave Troll. Which means we have to be careful with this Belfast Strix, because we're going to want it to block something like that if that does arise. They do a Dread Return here, they'll end up with like three zombies. So they'll end up sacking these two and a zombie, most likely. They'll get two more zombies. So they'll have three zombies and they'll have like a giant Grave Troll. And that's going to be where our Belfast Strix is going to have to block. Checking out Bile is definitely stupid. I could easily have Goyf player right now, or like Goyf Strix or whatever. Hobble Therapy targeting me, which means I'm going to draw a card. I have to assume that... I don't think they named Surgical here because... Like... What does Surgical do here? So they sack two zombies and a Narcomiva? Oh no, they just sacked the Narcomiva, I see. Okay, my bad. Psychrid's still here, and I was like, why don't they sacked off with a Dread Return? This isn't a Dread Return, this is a couple therapy. <laughs> Silly me. What kind of spell suite do you have, R Condition, for, um... What kind of spell suite do you have for your Snapcaster Mage? You just have, like, the hymns, like, Fatal Potions, Abrupt Decay, stuff like that? They named Jace the Mind Sculptor, which we don't have in this deck. They might be considering us to be like a Sharpless Bug type of deck. Which is why they named Jace the Mind Sculptor. I don't think Jace the Mind Sculptor when we're on two mana really matters right here. They don't have another Cobble Therapy. They've had a peek at their hand, but they don't have another Cobble Therapy to um, take advantage of the fact they've looked at their hand now. I think I'm just going to let the Icarid through. Like I said, I'm going to have to hold back the Baleful Strix. Maybe I don't hold back the Baleful Strix. If it ends up getting rid of Bridge, I'm going to just let it die here. Just block a zombie with the Baleful Strix. I'll let the Icarid through, but I'll block a zombie with the Baleful Strix. I'll block um, the other zombie with Leobold. So let's get rid of their other bridge. This will get them off Dread Return mana. They won't get anything for their Icarid here. And we have, well, we can have Flusses come up too. These uh, discard spells are looking real bad right now with my opponent with zero cards in hand as a dredge deck. That's a no. We're not taking up Bile anymore. Hey, a drop. Sweet. We got more mana. Um, yeah. So. I think. Goyf. Uh, I think Grim Flayer is what we want to play here. Grim Flayer is a 4 4 so I can block anything they're going to play. And then I can trample, so it also means we can just like get some push some damage through on their turn, so I think we're going to start with Grim Player, and then we'll play Tarmogoyf. <sighs> really wishing I did not take this vial up, though, because having Leobold in play at this moment is not really relevant. Two him, two Abrupt K, two Push, one Edict, two Thoughtseize, Blue Spells. I definitely need the Edicts for this deck. 
It's one of the things I've definitely been struggling with. Um, okay, we're going post. We're going to game three now against Dredge. I think I'm fine with the way the deck looks right now. The Thought Seasons could probably come out, though. I think it is time to just go to more of a blue deck. I'll drop an Abrupt Decay. I don't think we want the Jets to go away. I was thinking Jets could, like, kill our creatures off in a pinch. It can also, like, gain us some life if we get a little low. But I think that's probably loose. So I'm going to go ahead and just go more blue. Cut the Jets. <clears throat> I think about two Liliana Lasso, one Jace. I like Liliana Lasso. Yeah, I actually went, I had two Jace in here originally. I changed them to Liliana Lasso because her, her recurring creatures just seems real good. Um, one of the problems I've been having right now is like Baleful Strixes can be a problem on the opposite side of the board, and she answers those re readily. So I think that's definitely good. If we're attacking, we are probably winning, yeah. Well, this hand's close, but it's pretty garbage. Nothing to interact with early, nothing to like get us ahead early, like Biles or whatever. I'm definitely thinking the vials are a little slow. Uh, yeah, this is bad too. Uh, we're not finding anything very good. We have Force, and we have Sylvan Library. This is really bad. <laughs> I don't know if we can do better on less than this, though. That's getting bottomed. The actual land, I think, might have been okay, but I don't. Well, we're just going to jam a Sylvan Library on turn two, so. City of Ass. My opponent does. LED. Um, yeah, I'm fine with that. Future Nymph. Future Nymph's probably getting countered. I guess they have LED for a discard outlet, so I guess Future Nymph probably doesn't get countered. I'm going to yield to that ability. A good feeling against decks like Dredge is being able to report them to death with City Brass. Yeah, I don't really care about Future Dimp. That's not really what I want to counter. Okay. Toxic Illusion is not bad if we can find a black source that I've already bottomed. <laughs> I mean, with the fact they have stuff like Icarids, so Jit seems one more is what you're saying. The fact that they have stuff like Icarids where it has um, haste and everything, like Jit can actually be like a good way to just, oh, you return an Icarid, kill it. You return an Icarid, kill it. You return an Icarid, kill it. Stuff like that. Um, and then like being able to just gain a life so like their hasty Icarids can't kill you is nice as well. So like I I, I do agree that Jit is probably just loose. So I definitely was fine getting rid of it, and that was kind of my thought process as well. But it's not exactly like. It's not the worst. Like, we have better cards, which is why I've kept it. And they have stuff like Colosseum Fuck, so we should have countered the LED, probably. Uh, they have Threshold. So Colosseum's active. I really want to waste land, but Colosseum's not going to be there. Yeah, no. I'm going to force that. So, like, I don't like the forcing of that, and they can just Cephalid Coliseum anyway, but I'd rather have them only be able to Cephalid Coliseum rather than Cephalids and Faith and Suiting. It's possible keeping Force for, like, if they find a Dread Return, because now they have Iona. That might have been worth it, but this is all going to be pretty fucking loose anyway. <sighs> definitely not prepared for the Dredge matchup. It's definitely not a matchup I was considering I'd have to be prepared for. They should have targeted me with that, though. It's pretty rude, but they would just target themselves. What they return so far? Grape Troll, Grape Troll, Stingray Dump. Uh, no Narc Amoebas. We got one, two, three Bridge from Blows. Any Icarids? No Icarids. They have a Cobble Therapy. Well, they have a Icarid, yep. Yeah. And they have Cobble Therapy. So I need to find, I need to kill, I need to get rid of these fucking bridges. So I need to draw a Surgical real bad here. If I can draw a Surgical here, getting rid of the bridges is going to be great. Yeah, I need to answer this now, because three bridges with Icarid and plenty of black creatures to eat, not a great place for us. Leovold, you're not a surgical. Alright, so Pagach is dead. Shields down. Uh, don't find Archimedes.
They're about to mill the other half. They're about to mill into the second half of their deck, though. So chances are our opponent's going to find some Narcomubus here. When they dredge their Grave, great, great Troll. Icarid's definitely coming to play. They're definitely going to at least three zombies this turn. If they find a Narcomubo, they can get, like, nine zombies and cast a Dread Return. Uh, do they have Dread Return yet? They don't have a Dread Return yet, so they can't Dread Return yet for Iona, which is good. I'm going to hope Grave Troll misses, though. So they missed on Dread Return, but they have multiple Cobble Therapies, and now they have plenty of Sack Fodder. That just goes into Bridges. So we're going to lose our hand here. So we're going to lose our Leobold and our Toxic Illusion. We don't have any more Toxic Illusion on the deck. There's one, two, two Therapies. So they likely miss on the first Therapy. We're not going to lose our entire hand here, because they definitely are going to miss on their first Therapy. They won't miss on their second, obviously. But we're going to take five here, so that's still going to hurt a little bit. I'm going to go to 12. I don't think we can win this game. I guess my hope here is they Cobble Therapy, miss, Cobble Therapy, go for Leovold, and then we can find a land. And then they don't really have creatures in play that aren't zombies. I guess that's still not really good enough to win, though. Yeah. I had to mobile, like, Five and this was like a super loose keep I kept, but it was like the best I could do. It was like force blue card land silver library two land silver library, which was not a good to keep against dredge, but it was probably the best I had. Uh, Tarmogoyf. Okay, cool. They missed that. They're gonna obviously flash it back their other couple therapy. My assumption would be they take Tox Deluge here. If I them, I'd probably just sack the Ikrid to the other couple therapy. They're gonna lose it anyway. And if we cast Tox, if they let us keep the Toss Deluge or whatever, killing a Narcomiba gives them three more bridge triggers. So yeah, that's, that's what they did. I don't know if that's particularly the reason they did it. I'm sure it's just the fact that Tarmogreff is going away. They're not going to let us keep Toxic Deluge anyway, so this is irrelevant. And we're dead because I can't just, I can't answer this many zombies outside. This one Toxic Deluge in the deck. So we are going 0-4. There goes Toxic Deluge, yep. So they have 13 on board right now. When they return Icarid, they'll have 16 on board. We can block three of it. We're still dead. So we are just dead. Okay. If Surgical is in the top three, that's going to suck. So that means we were one turn behind on it. Nope, it wasn't. So it didn't matter. You can see it. We are dead. 0-4. Oh, God, at least we're getting games the last couple of matches. So that's good. I had so much more hope for this deck. Possible four leyline post board is good. I'm definitely running too many lands. We're gonna have a lot of problems with getting mana flooded. Twenty lands I just thought would be okay with a, being in a vile deck with four wastelands, but I guess twenty lands is just way too much. Um, so let's just use it uses vile with like the mix of like stuff like Snapcaster Mage with spells, um, clicks, Leovolds, a Notion Thief. So you can kind of like sneak some things in under your opponent in random places. Um, it's not very good. The Vial probably shouldn't be in here. It should just be Noble Hierarchs. Um, should probably fit four Brainstorms somehow. Uh, I'm cutting, like, Grim Flayers and probably like, Notion Thief would get, like, four Brainstorm in this deck. This deck needs Brainstorm badly, because the draw selection just kind of sucks. Like, if you get, like, a Leobold in play, and they're trying to target you and stuff, like, that's cute and everything, but it just doesn't do enough. Um, Yeah. Vials have not been good. Like, there's a chance this deck could just get more creature heavy, but I just don't know what creatures would be worth it. Like, I could put, like, Kite Sail Freebooters in. I could put, like, Kite Sail Freebooters in for some more, like, hate as, like, a creature. It flies, so, like, it can wear it can wear equipment. So, like, I don't know. Kite Sail Freebooter might not be a bad idea to have some type of other disruption. Um, it's bug wise and I'm brainstorm because I'm bad. <laughs> I have nothing else for you. All right, I won the die roll. We got a vial. We got a strix. We got plenty of mana. We got a Liliana, so we're gonna keep this. I'm just gonna start on this vial. If my opponent doesn't counter it, and hope we actually draw some not lands for once. <laughs> That's a good question though. It's bug. Why doesn't it have brainstorm? I like. I like that. Uh, that was a good question. <laughs> I honestly can't fucking tell you. I don't know. 
Uh, we're going to sell Drowsy. Everyone Mallory Shaper, okay. It's not the best card in their deck, but it's fine. Um, so we likely are going to get Thought Nuts here, I'm assuming. So we're probably going to end up losing the Liliana. We can keep the Delphal Strix. Probably just going to Wasteland here, though. I don't particularly want to fight through all this bullshit. So, like, the idea behind the deck is we get, like, the ability to... Oh, no, I meant Aether Vial. Yes, that Vial. <laughs> um, oh, that's real... <laughs> they had Crocus, I just drew Leovold. I'm like, oh, maybe I'll draw more creatures. They have Crocus. That doesn't really... That doesn't really do much. Uh. <laughs> Strix is very good versus the Eldrazi Menace. I will give it that. Okay, we will use Vial's ability. Um, it push isn't terrible, but I don't really like it against that. Um, yeah, I'm just fucking past turn, I guess. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I mean, Crocus vs. Leo isn't terrible when we have Vile, that's true. Thank you, Tom. I appreciate that. There's a Jet. Okay, can't equip it yet. I'm probably just going to put in Strix and just block this. Yeah, I wasn't thinking about Vile against Crocus. That's with Leo that against Crocus. That's actually not bad. I look Click. That's kind of sweet. I get Leo and Click going. Yay, next turn I have that up. Woo! Let's put a stop on their draw steps. I don't forget to do that. <laughs> I guess they could, like, in response, just like Krakos. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and push this stupid card. Mook's going away. I guess Liliana could have just killed it, but I'd rather just click Leo, click Leo on their draw step. Um, okay. Yes. I guess with the Crocus, we're probably not going to end up doing that anyway. Either one of these can get bounced. That's kind of cool. Uh, Underground Sea is fine. <clears throat> Alright, let's go to their turn. Alright, so we're going to... Cast Click. See if they respond. Yeah. Crocus is like a pretty fun card. It gives you a lot of options for a lot of decks that are kind of like, can be bullshit. Um, they're going to dismember targeting Leobold instead of Crocus it. Okay. That's sure. You don't get to keep your thought on here then. <sighs> so we know they have Wasteland, Ayavugan, Ayavugan. And that's it. <laughs> we don't know the last card in their hand. Um, we're not going to be taking up file anymore. Time regret's not bad. I guess I want this Liliana in play at this moment. Kind of want to buy back this Leobold. I think I probably want Strix, right? No. Do I want Leobold? Yeah, I think I want Leobold. There we go. There are no safe words when it comes to me streaming. I'll stream whatever, Jank, whenever. Oh, hello. I just skipped over my attack step. That was stupid. Ugh, streaming is so distracting. <laughs> well, my drone tries to crack us and bounce stuff. We just got to draw cards. That's cute. Uh, Thought Knots here? Reality Smasher. Okay. Reality Smasher's fine. We can take a hit from Reality Smasher. If it's attacking Liliana, that sucks, but I'm fine with that. We're going to get a Goyf into play, and we'll... We're, we'll get a Goyf into play, and we'll end up just being able to block it forever. So, not a big deal. That's true. Um, so we can double Goyf here. I like that. Play one now. Try to get an attack in. 
So I'd love to find another wasteland. That'd be great. I guess life alone would be pretty awesome too. I can just start loaning back wastelands and wastelanding them every turn. Okay. I'll play a second Tarmo Goof. All right. We have Vile up in case they try to Caracas us. Nice five five you got there, buddy. Oh, they have Jet. Can be a problem. Not really. I don't know why they're still in this game. I think they're just dead. Yes, tap your tap your ancient tombs all day. Endbringer doesn't matter right now. I think you're just dead. Noble Hierarch would be great right here. We have Noble Hierarchs, our click could actually come through for the kill. We can still attack with enough, but they can't block it. To, I don't know what the fuck they were still in the game for. I don't know what they're doing there. Um, so, I like Tox Deluge. I think Notion Thief is garbage. Uh, fatal Pushes are fine. Abrupt Decays are not great, I don't think. They don't really hit anything. They hit like Matter Shapers. We're not really heavy on one drop, so I don't think like hitting Chalice is going to be really relevant enough for us to keep them. Um, we don't want Force of Wills because they are a creature deck. They are a cavern deck. I think we want a second library and two Bear Blossoms, though. I don't know if I want the Bear Blossoms, though. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the second library for sure. I don't think Chalice matters, but I don't really think I have better things to bring in. Um, but Blossom, I don't think are going to be great here. The extra Jet, I don't think it's going to be relevant. Like The main board Jet probably isn't even great, so I can probably come out. So maybe I can just keep all the Abrupt Decays. I play a lot of heavy blue-based control decks, like blue-black and stuff. So I play like Bug Land still, I play like Grixis Land still, stuff like that. Jason the Mind Sculptor is very good at a lot of games um, that I play. Well, this hand's fine. We can fight through. So we have like a basic, so we can like definitely abrupt decay a chalice. We have to. We have a wasteland to break up their mana. We have a thought seize, so this is fine. We'll keep this. Um, but yeah, some of the non miracle control lists that I play, they play a Jace, and like my my bug control is like basically blue black with a light green splash. That one crush. That one plays four Jace. Because that the card is like the card is just that good. Um, uh, Grixis control, yeah. So Grixis control, I run like a Kess in. Okay, yeah, we're gonna take this thought not here. Um, I don't like the fact they have Endbringer. I'm hoping before they can cast Endbringer, I can snap thought seize, get rid of it. I don't want to see that card come out. I can also like if they play Sea Traders, I can wasteland their Drowsy Temple. And then they're like really, like, they're really, really tight on mana. I'm just rattling off a couple of decks that I play that run Jace the Mind Sculptor. Well, that sucks. They're going to get Embringer next turn if I don't waste on them here. Alright, well, I just have to waste on them. Um, they had El um, Simeon Spirit Guide. So they went turn one, Temple, Simeon Spirit Guide, Jit. Turn two, they would have went Sage Traders, Thought Not, but I got rid of Thought Not Seer. I drew a waste on, okay. So they still can't end bringer next turn, which means I should be able to end up snap thought seize the Endbringer away. I'm just gonna get a basic island with this one and play this Baleful Strix. My oh, Baleful Strix isn't bad. Strix is a great blocker if they play like Thought Knots or they play like Reality Smashers or whatever. Baleful Strix is gonna be good there. Another Eldrazi Temple? Jesus. So they still have Endbringer and City of Traders. So we're gonna snap thought seize here. Um, I think next turn I'm going to be on the Loam Waste Lock plan. There goes that. This, I think I'm keeping the Strix back in case they play Reality Smasher. I haven't played since Ravaga, I want to get back in so bad. Yeah, Magic's a lot of fun. There's like, obviously there's like some decent variants sometimes you have to deal with, and there's crap like that, but Magic overall is a very fun game, and if you look past the variants, it can be fine. 
Um, yeah, Grab to K, let's say hi to you in this one. Does Grab to K want to say hi to this one now? No, I think I just want to life blow oh, him, get this wasteland back. Yeah. Uh, they do have a wasteland in play. They end up going really greedy on this on this one, though. But yeah, you're not you're not wrong. Going tropical meant life alone. So my original plan was tropical, keep underground city, so I could play Lily on the last hope. Um, I didn't adjust my plan with what they were doing. Oh, what? oh they're floating mana, so they can put Jit on that. I don't mind losing my creatures to that. That's fine. I'll trade with the Bill for tricks all day. Perfectly fine with me. It'd be a terrible shame if something happened to that seven counter all drowsy. Like if I Bell Plus Tricks blocked it. Yeah. Jet having counters is kind of kind of sucks for us, but it's not terrible. They can kill a Snapcaster Mage here, I'm fine with that. Whatever. I'm surprised they haven't wastelanded our green source when they know we have life alone. Because I'm definitely gonna be on that train right now. I'm all about loam locking these fucks. Yeah, at this point, I don't think we can lose from here. So eventually, their wastelands are going to go away. They can eventually play a like Chalice for one. Block and Bluffstone, yeah, that's... Sure. That's cute. It's a really cute little walking and you got there. Um, I will dredge the life alone. I think here, I'm actually just going to play as Liliana, though, and kill the walking and And we won. Yes. So at least we beat all drowsy. That makes me happy. <laughs> uh, I can't stand that deck. <laughs> yeah, they should have probably wastelanded us. Yeah, I actually, uh, when I drew life alone, playing the underground sea made more sense. So that way we didn't get choked off green. But yeah, wasteland loam is great against all drowsy. It's a lot of fun. Race their own board, Rex City, and let you keep green for them. Yeah, that was pretty interesting, for sure. Um, Blue Black Death Shadow, I lost against O2 earlier. And Blue Black Death Shadow is definitely a decent deck if you're looking to play something that's relatively cheap to get into Legacy. Um, you're not spending like $600 or $800, whatever, on ground series or ridiculous prices these days. Um, you're not spending like $700 per land, like. The deck runs underground seas generally, but you can just run like all watery graves. Um, you can even run like dark slick shores or like some like the fast lands. Or the lands that when they come into play, if you control three or less lands, they don't come into play. Uh, they come into play untapped. Um, so if you're just getting back into magic or whatever, and you have budget constrictions, Death Shadow Aggro is a great deck to start with. Um, Force of Will is kind of rough, but Everything else is fairly cheap in the deck. So that's a place to start if you're looking for paper. Online Lily on Last Hope, I just found out today is like $45 or whatever. Like, I needed two Lily on Last Hope, it was like 90 ticks. I was like, are you fucking kidding me right now? The card's really good, but Jesus Christ. How the hell is that 45 ticks? Yeah. Yeah, Force Will isn't terrible. And Force Will is slot. The good thing about, like, so building something like a Death Shadow deck or like a Delver deck, one of the benefits of doing that is you get your four Force of Wills right off the bat. That slots into like, that slots into like 15 decks in Legacy. You know, like from Tier 1 to Tier 3, you know. Force of Wills slots into a ton of decks. So having Force of Wills is great. Having like your blue fetch lands, that'll help you a lot in changing out different decks. Um, having stuff like Daze, Brainstorm, Ponder... Not that a lot of those cards are very expensive, but having those things like can go into a lot of different things. Um, having like wastelands, those go into like all your Delver decks. They go into like your Death and Taxes decks. They go into stuff like that. So, if you're looking to get back into Legacy. That's a few things to think about. Is like the ability to switch from deck to deck if you need to, because obviously you don't want to build like red green lands and have like a ton of money in like Taiga and stuff like that where those don't really slot into anything else. Um, Death and Tax is another example of that. It's a, like Pat just said, who's on the Leaving a Legacy username. 
Um, Death and Taxes is a fairly cheap deck to build. Ports are now super cheap because of the reprint. Um, yeah, Death Shadow also ports over to Modern. Yeah, that's true. Um, Death Shadow does play Days in Legacy. Um, and it, Days is actually great for the deck because it gives them the ability to bounce a Shockland to their hand, replay it, lose more life, and play a Death Shadow that's bigger. It's, it's actually really good in the deck. Um, oh, Blake, sweetie. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not saying lands is a bad deck, I'm just saying like having all those lands cards, they don't port well. Although I'm sure you know that since you're a big lands player. Um, but yeah, Death and Taxes, like it's a cheap deck to build, but it doesn't port into anything else. Like you get your four wastelands, like one or two Krakus might port into something else. Um, the Rish on ports don't go into really anything else except for lands. Um, I guess you could put them in like Merfolk and Goblins, but Goblins is trash and Merfolk is like, meh. Just above trash. Um, so if you're looking to get in the format and whatnot, like a lot of a lot of things to think about is if you can borrow decks, it's obviously great to borrow a deck. Figure out what your feel is. Um, do you like like a heavy control deck? Do you like an aggressive tempo deck like Delver? Um, the heavy control deck could be like Miracles, like Grixis Control. Um, if you like something more like Prisony, like there's Death and Taxes. Um, Death and Taxes requires a ton of time and energy to learn very well. Um, I played Death and Taxes for a couple of years. I was fairly good at the deck, but I mean, after two years of playing the deck, I was still finding new interactions and like still learning like new ways to sequence my cards against certain matchups and everything that was working. So like Death and Taxes learning curve is super high. Like you can go from you can go from like you know you can win you can five zero and F and M no problem with the deck just picking it up because the deck has like a pretty good power level. Well, not power level, but has a good, like, ability to prison out an opponent when your opponents are all on, like, you know, dual lands and you have your wastelands for that. They're on, like, a lot of cantrips, so they're, they're drawing a lot of air. When the cantrips cost two mana for Athalia, you know, that's obviously, like, going to slow your opponent down a lot. And then you just you just essentially tempo your opponent out with, like, that, like, soft taxing prison style. Um, but the learning curve for Death and Tax is extremely steep. Like, having, like, vials active with, like, Flicker Wisps and... Recruit the guards and Stoneforge Mystics. There's so many different options to consider when you're trying to figure out what cards to reuse or rebuy. Um, but yeah, the Death and Taxes can be a really fun deck, but it definitely has a very steep learning curve. Um, if you're into Death and Taxes and you're not following them yet, there's a uh, Medea Magic is a streamer. He's a uh, let's see if I can find his channel real quick. Um, if you haven't followed him yet, like you definitely want to find him. He runs the Thraven University, and he's a great He's great for, uh, as far as Death and Taxes goes, finding, like, information, running the deck, doing well with it. Um, but yeah, Death and Taxes can be an extremely, you know, complex deck to build. Um, another, actually, one deck that's actually fairly cheap is uh, Green Black Turbo Depths. Um, there's also Bug Turbo Depths, obviously, isn't cheap because it runs, like, all the Mox Diamonds and stuff, which is where Negator 7-7 seven, seven would come in. Death and Taxes for the win, yeah, that's it, hat right there. Um, but like Greenback Turbo Depths actually isn't really that expensive to build. It's pretty, it's not cheap. Like Dark, dark Depths are not cheap right now. Um, other than that, like the deck runs like cheap shit basically. Um, Wastelands aren't super expensive, all that. So Dark Green Black Turbo Depths is another deck you can get into Legacy with that's fairly cheap to build and fairly competitive where like you can definitely flip some um, F and M credit and stuff. <laughs> But yeah, um, let's uh, you know what? Let's let's look at the let's look at the deck list real quick. So this is a train wreck, as we've learned. The deck needs brainstorm. I don't think the deck needs my lands. I think one wasteland should probably go. Um, one trot can probably go. Uh, island should probably become forest. And then, so if I cut back two lands, I can add two brainstorms for that. I cut back like the notion thief and the Edric. That could be two more brainstorms. That could be four brainstorm in the deck, which I think would improve the deck a lot. Um, the jit probably shouldn't be in here. I could maybe see two sideboard jit, but I don't think that's really relevant. And it's definitely possible where like the deck needs like some number of dialogue edicts because running into like a one of big creatures might be miserable. I don't think I want to keep the island. In general, having like access to abrupt decay with the two basics through like back to basics, blood moon and stuff like that is gonna be more than enough. So I don't think I want the island. But if I don't want the island, like the deltas probably come burning catacombs in this deck. 
The deck's still like way more like black green heavy with like a blue splash basically. Um, I don't know if clicks are really that great. Like click could probably just become like true names or something. Uh, the life loan probably doesn't need to be in here. It's just a card that I tend to favor. Uh, I think three Grim Flayers is too much. I like the amount of Grim I like having at least two Grim Flayers, but I think three is probably too much. So I'd probably drop like one or two of those. Hey, no problem, Blake. I'm glad you enjoyed. I'm glad you were able to check it out. Have a good night. <sighs> Kevin Ayer, thanks for following me on Twitch. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, Notion Thief's just way too expensive. So actually, let's get out of here. Do some editing on the deck real quick. See what we can come up with. So, for brainstorm, I definitely think cutting a wasteland is correct. Um, cutting deltas for verdance. Cutting island for forest. Um, for the time being, I would probably want maelstrom pulse in some number in the seventy-five, even if it's just a one of. Um, I think the Mind Break Traps are kind of cute. I don't think they need to be in there. I got someone randomly the Mind Break Trap the other day, so I never, I didn't like think like removing it was necessary, but I think removing it is necessary. Uh, so Notion Thief, Edric need to come out. Um, Agrim Flare should probably come out. Um, four Vials should probably just be Hierarchs. Because like two, four, three mana on turn two is probably way more relevant than like saving mana, saving mana through Vials. Um, yeah, I don't have that many cantrips and all that, so I don't think having like the base gods really that relevant. Having the one force one swamp should be enough. Plus, I have like six duels that all make blue. If we go with the hierarchs too, instead of vials, like noble hierarchs instead of vials, that's more blue sources for brainstorm and stuff. So, I think that should be fine. Um, I kind of think like the. One of JIT probably doesn't need to be in here. Like, that should probably just be a mainboard Maelstrom Pulse. Um, it's possible rather than mainboard Maelstrom Pulse. It should just be a second Sylvan Library, and Maelstrom Pulse should be sideboard. Or it should be like a 1 1 Maelstrom Pulse mix. If I was planning on the fact that um, Ass Trophy is coming out, I'd probably do something more like two Ass Trophies in the main. That would be my 60 card main. And then keep the sideboard with like one Sylvan Library. I might drop the Life Loam for like another Maelstrom Pulse. So like two Ash Trophies in the main, because I still would want a favor of Rep Decay because not being counterable against like a back to basics and stuff is still really relevant. Um, you don't want like a non-answer oh, to stuff like yeah. that. Like back to basics just has to be answered, and you do not want to take the chance that your spell gets countered and then you're tapped out and can't do anything. Um, especially if you can't like just fetch out your basic lands. Uh, Blink Triple X, thank you for following me on Twitch. I appreciate it. <sighs> I hope you all like my uh, follower, a little follower uh, gif or whatever. It's nice and creepy, just like me. I like keeping the JIT in here because like Bitter Blossoms against creature decks with JIT is actually like really great. Um, Bitter Blossoms generally are going to come in against control though, but JIT against like death and taxes and stuff is just, it gives them another card that they just have to answer or shut down. It is so creepy, Pat. I know. Um, but I think like two Astrophys main board to make my sixty. And then, like, 15 card sideboard I have here. I would like a lot more. It, it's possible instead of having, like, Fluss of Storms, or instead of having four, like, Force of Will might not be great here. This should probably just be, like, four Leyline of the Void. Um, I like Fluss of Storms, I think, are fine, but I wouldn't mind, like, I, like dumping Surgical Extraction would make me nothing but happy. Um, but having, like, four Leyline of the Void, dumping Surgical Extraction for, like, more, like, Discard or more like Diabloc Edicts would probably be great. It's so, like two Diabloc Edicts, four Leyline of the Void. That'd be probably a direction I'd want to go on the sideboard. Um, the decks like Leyline of the Void obviously like hit pretty hard. Like we can make that we can make that value up over time. That's not a big deal if we have to mull. Like we mulled to Oblivion a bunch, and we actually had some pretty good games mulling to Oblivion. We lost a lot, but we had some decent games mulling to Oblivion. So I think Leyline of the Void is actually not terrible. The deck seems to mull again okay. Um, having just like Baleful Strix to just redraw and having like Sylvan Library, stuff like that, just gives you a lot of play. Once we add Brainstorms, it'll be even better as far as that all goes. Um, again, these vials probably should just be Noble Hierarchs. Um, it's possible we also want more spells. Like, four Goyf might be a little much. Like, this could possibly just be like three Goyf. It could be like a main board Diabolic Edict. But if you have like the Ash Trophies, you already have like the answer for things like that. 
So I'm not really sure which direction the deck exactly needs to go in. I'd have to play test some more with Assassin's Trophy once that comes out. Um, that's kind of what my thought process is right now in the deck. I think the deck's okay. I think there's a lot of potential here. Um, actually, who was it talking earlier? Are you still in here? Was it? Uh, who are you? Where are you? Someone was talking about a list that they have that's like bug centric. It has like, oh, our condition. I don't know if you're still in here, but I don't know if you stream or whatever, but if you stream like the bug version you were talking about earlier, um, it'd be interesting to hear more about that. But they were saying like they have like a bunch of snaps, baleful tricks, TNMs, um, think clicks, and like the random bug good stuff spells like Kim Torox, um, Brainstorms, Fatal Pushes, Abrupt Ks, Edict. Uh, let's see what else. What else do they say they have? So they're on four noble, four strix, three snap, three TNN, and then two Leovold. So I think that actually sounds like a pretty good direction to go with a bug deck like this. Obviously, vials are just kind of they were just kind of like a neat thought I had. Where like, what if you could just like vial in a Leovold in response to a brainstorm, or in response to like a Jace? What if you could just like have a Leovold in play, vial in a click, or if you could vial in a Snapcaster Mage when you're tied on mana and still use your Hymn to Torok flashbacks? Um, still use like, your abrupt decay flashbacks because you're saving the mana on the vials for Snapcaster Mage. Um, it was kind of just like an idea I had where like I was like, what if this worked? So it's something that could possibly like if we just got like this, keep the fourth time of life, add like the two ass trophies, keep vials and forego the noble hierarchs, but have the brainstorms for selection. This could still be something that could still work and would you know we could actually do. Um, I'm just not sure exactly the direction the deck needs to go, and it's going to take a lot more testing, and I think Assassin's Trophy is going to be where the deck picks up testing again. Um, but yeah, I'm going to call it a night on that. I want to thank everyone for coming by and hanging out. Enjoying this. I hope you all enjoyed the stream. Um, I should hopefully be streaming this week at some point. I'm not sure when. If you're not following the user that's in my chat right now, Leaving a Legacy, make sure to check out their, his page. It's Pat and Jerry's page. Uh, mostly just Pat, though, because Jerry doesn't really work. Um, but Pat should be streaming Blue Black Death Shadow tomorrow, and the deck's kind of sweet, so if you are interested in that, be sure to check out Lehman Legacy's page, follow them on Twitch, and I will see you all later. Have a good night.